In this video, I will show you how to create carousel slider with smooth and animated page indicator. For example, in my emulator, I have created a carousel slider and when I slide to the next page, you can see the page indicator below animated together smoothly. This is an expanding effect which the active indicator will be expanded horizontally. Before we dive into the code, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get the latest tutorial notification. So in this tutorial, we will be using this smooth page indicator package which you can find in pub.dev. Next, add this package dependency into your Flutter project. Now let's dive into the code. So in my main.dat file, I have an empty column widget which we will be creating carousel slider and page indicator from scratch. Let's start with carousel slider. Firstly, I will create carousel pages using list.generate method. In this generate method, we can specify the length of the list and a generator method to return each widget. So I will put the length as 6 and the generator method will return a container widget. In the container widget, I will add some customization such as border radius and color. In the child widget, I will place another container widget to hold the content. For tutorial purposes, I will just display a simple text widget in each carousel pages. As of now, we have completed generation of pages for our carousel slider. If you wish to add images or videos to the carousel slider, you just have to replace the text widget with the image or video widget. Next, coming to our column widget below. Firstly, we will be creating the carousel slider with the pages data using page view builder. Page View Builder requires a page controller which we have created above and assign it to the controller parameter. Then, for the item count parameter, it should be the length of the pages but since we have set it to 6 items, I will just input 6 to the item count. Lastly, is the item builder parameter. In this builder function, we will just return each of the pages using the index returned from the function. Now let's try it out in the emulator. So as you can see, a simple carousel slider is created and we can slide through each pages. So when I create the pages, seems like I added the margin to the wrong container widget. It should be placed in the parent container widget. Now you can see it's much more UI friendly.
Next, let's create the smooth and animated page indicator. So after the page view builder widget, add smooth page indicator widget. This widget comes from the smooth page indicator package. This widget requires a page controller and account value. This widget comes with an effect parameter to customize your page indicator. So in the page controller parameter, make sure you assign the same page controller instance that you assign to the page view builder above. This is because with the same controller instance, they can only animate it synchronously. For the count parameter, it should have the same count value as the pages above, so I will set it as the length of the pages. Lastly, for the effect parameter, I will set it as expanding dots effect. You might wonder what effects are available and how they look. For this, you can look through the package documentation in pub.dev. They have provided each available effects with its preview. You can pick whichever that fits your requirement. Now let's try it out in the emulator. So as you can see when I scroll to the next page, the page indicator animates synchronously with expanding effects. It knows which pages you are currently at and which pages you are scrolling to due to the same page controller instance. Conclusion, this is how you create carousel slider with smooth page indicator. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.